four, three, two, one, and liftoff. The flight of Apollo 11 was the culmination of many years of planning, working, building, and testing. Thousands of people had contributed toward this day of accomplishment. The great Saturn V rocket and the complex Apollo spacecraft had been assembled together and moved to the launch pad. The equipment and techniques and personnel had been proved in earlier missions, and now they were ready. The astronauts chosen for this mission had flown it many times in ground-based simulators. They had all been in space before. They had trained carefully and well. And now, they too were ready. Astronaut Michael Collins would pilot the Apollo command module. Astronaut Edwin Aldrin Jr. would pilot the lunar module. And astronaut Neil Armstrong would serve as mission commander. Armstrong would be the first man to step upon the moon. Other astronauts had made this journey to the launch pad, but never with such anticipation. 9.32 a.m., July 16th. Three hours later, the Apollo command module moves forward to extract the lunar module from the third stage of the launch vehicle. Both are moving at more than 17,000 miles an hour. Docked together, they will sail a quarter million miles across the sea of space and into orbit around the Earth's nearest neighbor. Oh, loud and clear now, Mike, and we understand that you are docked. July 19th. Apollo 11 slows down and goes into orbit around the moon. The bright blue planet of Earth now lies 238,000 miles beyond the lunar horizon. Astronauts Armstrong and Aldrin, now in the lunar module, separate from the command module. Astronaut Collins remains behind. The Eagle is poised and prepared for its descent to the lunar surface. 40 feet down, two and a half, picking up some dust. Four forward, four forward, drifting to the right a little. Good. Okay. Contact light. Okay, engine stop. We copy you down, Eagle. Tranquility base here. The Eagle has landed. Roger, Twain. Tranquility, we copy you on the ground. You got a bunch of guys about to turn blue. We're breathing again. Thanks a lot. Armstrong opens the Eagle hatch and begins his climb down to the surface. I'm going to step off the limb now. That's one small step for man. One Despite the bulky spacesuits and the backpacks containing oxygen, temperature control, and communications equipment, the Apollo 11 crew found they could move easily about the surface. Through a specially made television camera, viewers in many nations on Earth were able to watch the astronauts as they walked and worked on the moon. <laughs> 